So with years of failing production or falling production of potatoes in Nyandarua, some farmers have resorted to soil testing as a cure for their losses. And as Dennis Otieno now reports, the results are leading to better yields. It may not look like a big deal, walking around this farm while picking dried twigs and leaves from the soil. But for Patrick Jomo, this is as important as it gets, not because he's the owner of this five-acre potato farm, but because he knows just too well what it means to suffer huge losses due to poor soils. When I started, because I started with virgin lard, the productivity was high. Actually, I was getting the first, in that field I got nine tons, the first harvest. The next harvest I got 5.3 tons. It, the trade was that it was going down. And then I started asking myself, what is wrong with my lad? This continued until he was introduced to soil testing. The results indicated that the soil was lacking vital minerals and this affected production over time. pH was too low. So the soil was acidic. The next one was about phosphorus. The soil was very deficient in phosphorus. The soil was also very deficient in boron. The soil was very deficient in calcium, magnesium. Soil testing refers to analysis conducted primarily to estimate concentration of a plant's nutrients in a given location or planting area in order to determine fertilizer recommendations. Some tests can be done by hand by simply filling the soil in order to determine its composition, while others are complex as they entail chemical analysis. Sampling, there are things that there are places that you avoid. For example, where there's a compost heap, uh, there, there could be a higher concentration of, of uh, nutrients. So you, you avoid such places. You avoid places that uh, have life fence. Because he failed to pay attention to the health of his soil, Patrick was literally farming at a loss. Actually, I got 12 bags. Each bag was going for around 2,000. That is 24,000. The cost of production of, in, uh, of potatoes one acre is around 30,000. Having learned from his mistakes, he now takes quick action whenever he notices a slight change in his production. Patrick is now earning an average of 150,000 shillings per season from a low of 70,000 shillings previously. The yield jumped from 2.6 tons to 12 tons. I don't know how many times are those, almost five times increase in yield. Well, testing enables the farmer to do the following. One, to know the levels of nutrients in their farm and probably the challenges they are likely to encounter. And after analysis, the, the lab is able to give recommendations, so the farmer is able to budget and plan which, which input to buy and how much of those inputs to buy. Knowing the accurate status of the soil remains critical for any potential farmer, and the costs associated with the entire process depends on the type of analysis. One I recommend most when a farmer just wants to see the nutrition levels is a package that would get up for pH, uh, electrical conductivity that would cost about 5,000 shillings per sample. There are cheaper, uh, there's a cheaper option of screening for macronutrients that would cost 2,500 shillings. Others like soil texture would cost 2,500 shillings to, to know the percentage of clay, silt and sand. Farmers are also advised to practice crop rotation as a way of employing good soil management. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Thank <laughs> you.